What's going on folks? This is Hero Stormwolf and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Skyrim Special Edition. This was recently rumored and then announced by Bethesda themselves on June 12th um, at their E3 press conference. What the Special Edition is is essentially all of the DLC and everything that came with Skyrim. Um, upgraded to, I guess, the engine that Fallout 4 is using. That's something I'll talk about here in a little bit. And you can kind of see the um, the visual upgrade from the 360 and the PS3 version to the um, to the trailer that they showed with the PS4 and Xbox One version. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about being the PC owner of Skyrim and if it's uh, worth the upgrade. And we'll talk about that. And as well if you only play on console and if it's worth the upgrade. Um, for console players, if you've already played the game but you still like going back and playing over and over again, I would say still suggest looking into the Xbox One and the PS4 version um, because they're doing the same thing that they did with Fallout 4 and it will allow you to add some mods from um, the Nexus page or from their Bethesda online part. I haven't really messed with the Fallout 4 stuff for mod for console so I don't know too much about it but I know they're implementing that feature into the Skyrim Special Edition which leads me to believe that they are using the Fallout 4 engine um, in this special edition or this remaster of Skyrim which is great because now Skyrim will be a 64-bit game instead of a 32-bit game and to give a little history about Skyrim Skyrim was originally a console game that got ported to PC um, usually that's not how it goes usually most games are made on PC for PC and then ported to consoles but we'll we won't get into that um, too much what I'm saying is that Skyrim was a 32-bit game, and at the very beginning, for those who picked it up and played it and started to try and mod it, there was a memory um, bandwidth, a VRAM memory bandwidth that you couldn't pass, and if you did, Skyrim would crash. And a lot of mods kept adding things and things and things to the point to where Skyrim was pretty pretty un unstable with mods. Um, eventually, we got EM boost and, you know, some stability patches and blase blase and all that stuff. And now we have Skyrim what it is today on PC. Um, the special edition is looking to pretty much alleviate that by running as a 64-bit game, which allows a lot more things and it's a lot more stable and optimized. Because if you compare Fallout 4 to Skyrim now, Fallout 4, whether your preference of a better game or not, is objectively a more stable game and a more optimized game. So that's good news for you know Skyrim itself if it's running on the same engine that Fallout 4 is running. But going back to um, the console owners, I would say, depending on the price, uh, you might want to suggest picking this up if you only play on console and you only play Skyrim on console. It's, it's definitely at least looking, taking a look at because there is a visual upgrade and there will be a technical upgrade as well. Um, judging from the screenshots and the trailer that they showed, it looks like it's going to be around a normal preset of an EMB, maybe medium, medium high of, a, of an EMB that you can get from the Nexus. So that in itself, it's it's a visual upgrade in itself, plus you get all the DLC and all that stuff. For PC owners, this is actually pretty interesting. If you already have the Legendary Edition of Skyrim, then you will get a free upgrade to the Special Edition of Skyrim. Um, I don't know if that's from third parties too and you just linked your game to Steam or if it's just you have to buy it from Steam themselves. But from as far as I know from the announcement and the twit or the Twitter page from Bethesda, if you own Skyrim in the le in the um, legendary edition, then yeah, you get a free upgrade to the special edition. Now, as far as I know with them updating the the engine, um, this is just speculation. I don't think mods will be affected too much. Um, some may need to be tweaked to, in order to, to fit some of the new things that are in Skyrim. Um, I know we'll get a lot more out of EMBs now because there already be a pretty high threshold now and now we can kind of explore further and we have a lot more room. I'm, I'm not saying weeks, I don't mod, I'm saying modders have a lot more room to work with now in terms of like visual fidelity and stability because it's already going to be pretty much set at a, at a normal EMB. Um, visually so you can always improve upon that and you get a lot more um, a lot more visual quality out of the game itself um, and that's really cool that Bethesda is allowing people to upgrade for free on PC that have already spent the money on the legendary edition because that was one of my main concerns at first when I heard the announcement was okay that's cool and all that but I already have the game and you're not really doing much to you know expand the game itself you just you know visually and technically upgrading the game so I don't know if I should spend the extra money for that but 
with this upgrade being free, as far as I know, no, you know, you're pretty much already getting the game itself. I believe it's either going to be a, a download or a patch. So, looking forward to that on the on the 28th. Um, I'll definitely give a run through of the vanilla content when it comes out. But what do you guys think of it? If you haven't seen the announcement, if you haven't watched the trailer, I suggest you check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below, and you can go click on it and check it out. And let me know what you guys think of the Skyrim Special Edition. I'll catch you guys next time.